As we are actually here, as they are raising the barrels, they've made nearly 200 this morning already. I'm here with Plant Director Michael Nelson. Michael, how fast does it? Uh, how fast can they actually raise one of these barrels? So these guys can raise a barrel in less than a minute on average. When they're showing off, they can do it even faster than that. Wow. So this morning, as we're actually going to take this tour through the plant. So you lead me through. This is where they actually raise the barrel. So now lead the way. Where are we going next? Yeah, so next you're looking at uh, the stave, what we call the stave department. In the stave department, we walk through here. You can see all these staves. They're ready to be put in the barrel. And then we're going to walk around here. And we're going to look at one of the guys that's making these staves, Charlie Harden. Charlie's been around this plant for 50 years. He's looking to retire in about 20 days. He's got the countdown here on his wheel. You see Charlie, he's trying to clean his, clean his work area up with the camera a little bit here. But. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Charlie. All right, 20 days to go. And so as we are leading our way through here, what's going on in, in these go different... Over here, this is the heading department so this is where all the tops or the heads of the barrels get made and so you can see this wood over here is prepared and ready to be made in the heading department here are these big yellow machines that's called a rounder they take the square heads and make them into rounds so they can be used in a barrel I will I do say it smells really good in here yeah it's uh, something that hits you when you first come to the cooperage even outside you can smell that wood burning from the char fires the two different char areas we've got uh, a heading char area and then we've got where the barrels are charred and this here this is the heading char these barrels come through here they get fired and they char the tops and bottom of the barrels for the heads wow okay so actually we have about one minute left so we're actually going to walk on down here to the cooper so we're passing next to the iron house so tell me what goes on on this area so the iron house we receive our iron in big coils from here they make the iron so it's the proper size and got the proper flare. They'll rivet the, the iron so it's held together in hoops that we use to hold the barrel staves together. Now over here, this is what we call the Cooper area or the Cooper station where these guys and gals, they'll take any made barrels and do any repairs that need done. We do 100% inspection on all the barrels to make sure nothing leaks before it leaves the door. Oh wow, that's amazing. And so people can actually come and get a tour through Mint Julep Tours here at the Brown Foreman Cooperage.